Okay, now uh, we're gonna fill out the other settings here. This one, right? This one. So under general settings, okay. Now uh, let's hit new, and I'm gonna discuss this part first. Client drop-down format. So I want to keep that as it is. First name, last name, company name. Okay, that's already good. Good format. So I'm gonna keep that. So next we're gonna discuss about disable full client drop down list you don't have to disable this or actually you can since WHMCS is already using a Ajax search for clients you can disable it if you want but I I already gotten used to using the drop down list this is to save some loading time for example if you, if you have a thousand clients or maybe five six hundred clients if you tick this box that 600 client list won't show on every page on the admin side of WHMCS so it's up to you for but for starters when you're just starting up just leave it as it is you don't have to disable it you don't have to disable it just use it okay so we're gonna leave that next is capture um, I want to use capture to prevent spam being address to my business so what is CAPTCHA I'm gonna talk to you about that but before we discuss that I'm gonna change this when logged in so when the client is already logged in they don't have to fill in the CAPTCHA form if the client haven't logged in yet they have to fill in the CAPTCHA form okay so what is CAPTCHA let me bring up another mm, window and let's go to Gmail for example if you want to sign up for a new account here you see the form this form this has this has a capture oh uh, no not this one mm. let me show you let me just search capture so you know what I'm talking about yeah this one capture okay so let's go here so that's what it looks like so whenever um, someone wants to submit a ticket or contact your sales department they have to fill out the form uh, or the capture field so change the pen mm. so this part here this part here right they have to fill it out here okay so uh, if it's a robot or a script trying to automatically submit forms to your WHMCS it won't work because it's protected by CAPTCHA so you know what I'm talking about okay so let's clear that and close this up that's CAPTCHA so we're going to use that but uh, whenever the client is already logged in they don't have to fill that out next is knowledge based SEO friendly URLs this one we want to use that so search engines will be able to pick up our knowledge base, uh, knowledge base material um, easily and it'll also improve your search engine rankings in Google Yahoo and so forth okay so we're gonna use that so let's tick that and what it's talking about here here requires renaming this one Okay, so it requires renaming the HD access into dot HD access in the root directory. Let's just do that. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna go back to the file manager here. Our file manager. Okay, 
and go to the WHMCS installation directory which we are already in. Scroll down to the bottom. Uh, H, right? There we go. htaccess.txt, this one. And I'm going to change that, rename it using this button here. The rename button, okay? Let's do that. Rename into dot ht access okay that's it rename file and we're done so that's done so we taken care of the knowledge base stuff allow client registration this one yes we do want to allow client registration without buying okay so we'll keep that show cancellation link um, this one we want to check that off because we want people to contact us if they want to cancel their services okay because you need to, to gather valuable feedback on why do they want to cancel your service in the first place so you want to check that off okay so we're gonna check that off don't show cancellation link but you they have to actually submit a support ticket or call you to cancel the services okay monthly affiliate reports if you're using the affiliate system you can use this and tick that but if you don't use the affiliate system it won't do anything for for me I'm not going to use affiliates for now so I'm going to leave it as it is it doesn't really matter okay so next client details change notify this means whenever the client is updating their details for example they're updating their address their billing profile their email address or other stuff like that you will be notified so it up to you it's up to you but I want to know when my clients update their address and, and stuff so I'm gonna leave that and credit on downgrade yes of course if they downgrade a package uh, they will get credited and their account balance will be adjusted okay that's the last one I'm talking here this one credit on downgrade so yeah let's keep it as it is okay and lastly as I always say always save your changes okay so let's do that and save our changes that's it so that's the general settings for WHMCS we're not done yet there are still many but not so many things to set up but that's the general settings part and let's move forward to the next video where we are gonna set up where we're gonna set up support departments here at the bottom here okay so uh, that's that alright and I'll see you on the next video where we're gonna set up the support departments Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the next video.